Hello, everyone. I'm Vicki Kelty, and I'm so excited to welcome you to Quick Cultural Combos. So this is your introduction to this brand new series that I will be doing that was actually inspired by a fantastic chat that I had with a past happy hour guest this year. And that conversation was just too good to keep secret. Without further ado, my guest from that day, Fernando Mosquera. He is the talented musician behind the Mosquera Celtic Band. He's a multi-instrumentalist, a composer, a producer, among other things. And he brings these captivating sounds of Celtic music that just ignite people's love for that genre. Even if it's their first time, it will not be their last time listening to it. So I think you are absolutely going to love hearing about his journey, his passion for music, and how it brings cultures together. Take a listen. Okay. Which question do you want to do when you started liking Celtic music, uh, to talk a little about your band, um, what projects you guys have coming up? What do you want to answer Fernando? Uh, well, the, the first, the first of them, the with the the Celtic one. I I don't remember when uh, I start linking uh, Celtic music. Uh, I, Probably all your life. Yeah, maybe I I have it in my uh, DNA. <laughs> I don't... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fernando Celtic music. <laughs> I I heard uh, what I, when uh, when I was little I heard uh, the type of music that my brother and my sister heard. Uh, I haven't any style of music. I mm. don't know, but I remember the travels uh, that uh, I did with my family to Galicia and Asturias. Uh, my, um, my father's family is from a Coruña in Galicia, so that I uh, could uh, hear uh, there in in that territory in yeah. Greece, uh, the bagpipers, the bagpipe life for a uh, very first time, and then I I was sure that uh, it was my my style of music. The, the uh, I start. It was your destiny. Yeah. I think so. Uh, I start to to love the traditional music uh, uh, when I was very very young, at eleven or, or twelve. And um, just a English related question: They for the songs in English. Do you write those in English? You personally. Personal, I, I I first write it in Spanish. Oh, okay. I translate and try to make the poem, the verse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like keep the same essence of the Spanish. Yeah, uh, that is the the for me. Uh, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I so that I need uh, usually I use native. Uh, that helped me to to make a very um, como decirlo um, a, a song that sounds better in English. Because sure, because you, I mean, you want to keep the same meaning coming across, but also you have to have like the rhythm, and yeah. it's hard. That's hard. I can do it in, in Galician language, in, in Galego, because my, I can speak in Galego uh, for my my father. My father sure, family. your parents, yeah. In 
this is very difficult for me. So, well, you're you're doing an awesome job. Yeah, <laughs> help in this. Right now, I'm with a, a song in English, and I, I will need help <laughs> with it. Yeah. But, you can do it. We believe in you. <laughs> and it, so speaking of, you said right now you're working on a song in English. What other projects and events does the Mosquera Celtic Band have coming coming up? Well, I, I'm working, we are working right now in our fourth album. You have in your hands the second one. And... I have to. Uh, Look, it's even it's even signed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a signed copy. <laughs> so you, you have to record the um the fourth one. You're saying. Yeah, haven't you the mm -hmm. third album? I think we have the third one too. Okay, okay. We're just okay. missing the the first one, and then the next one. <laughs> to complete our collection. <laughs> we are with our fourth album. And um, right now we have to, I want to, to uh, publicarlo. Wait, so you have to record it, but uh, to publish it. Yeah. Publish you mean? In, in, in Christmas. Uh, in, uh, oh, that's a nice time. A nice little Christmas gift for everybody. And uh, I have a lot of concerts uh, now uh, here in Spain and in Bergamo, Italia, Italy. And, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I have, we, I'm right now uh, too with two coll collaborations in soundtracks. One, oh, wow. A Spanish film with uh, Jose Pozo is a director um, uh, who has a uh, Goya. Um, wow, that's cool. He's with uh, his uh, new film, and we start to to record the the soundtrack um, in in May, May or, or June. Oh and my gosh, that's soon. And I am with a video game soundtrack of the Czech Republic during two the last two years, and now it's a long production. It's yeah. a, a triple A video game. Is the the top of the of the idols of the video well, game. I must confess, I don't know a lot about video games, so I am also learning now from you. Because <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Have you played the video game that you are providing music for? I, I don't know anything. I, I only collaborate in the soundtrack. It, okay. There is a, a composer. Yeah. Uh, some of the music uh, he sent to me to uh, record my instruments. Uh, oh, okay. It's a video game about um, like Conan the Barbarian. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Uh, and magic. Uh, yeah. Okay. I can I can definitely see um that being something really popular in the video game world for sure. And uh, I have uh, two. I'm a musical producer too. I have a uh, here in, uh, in my uh, production uh, level and uh, I am uh, producing uh, two artists and groups uh, right now yeah wow I, I how do you how do you make time for all of this Fernando that's so much yeah yeah sometimes I don't have time <laughs> <laughs> but, I imagine that's true. Oh my gosh, you have so much on your plate. That's amazing. Basically, anywhere we look, we might and listen, we might be hearing something of yours if we if we pay yeah. attention. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So if people want to check out your band, they can go to your website, mosqueraceltiqueband.com and listen to some tracks and you have all your CDs there too. And so, yeah, I imagine you will update your page with some of the different places, like, like the movie soundtrack you'll be doing and the um, video game stuff on there as well. Um, in, in, in the web? Yeah, well, or on your socials. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't talk a lot of about it. Right. Top secret uh, until it's done, I imagine. And, uh, but in the future, yeah. When I was the permission. Yeah, when it gets released, we'll be looking for that. Maybe, maybe I'll play a video game for the first time in like a million years just to get to hear that. <laughs> I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is Fernando. <laughs> will be very rare for me to. I think uh, when I when when I will be playing with the with the video game and hearing yeah. my own music, it, it will be very. <laughs> yeah, like wait, that's me. <laughs> is that is that hard for you to? Because I know sometimes actors they don't like to see themselves on a screen. Is that uncomfortable for you to be listening to yourself the same because i i think i think it must be different for music than for an actor because like an actor is your voice and stuff but with the music i mean that would be fun to listen to i don't like uh, a lot uh, to hear my own music that's hilarious oh my gosh it, it will be a problem for me to oh. play uh, at the same time to hear in the music, but well. You'll have to do it with no sound. Oh, sound. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a very a very boring video game that way, but what? maybe I we I I'll uh, be singing while <laughs> I while while I'm playing playing uh, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> yeah. The, anything to distract you from your own music. Oh, that's funny. Well, thank you for having this little side chat with me, Fernando. You're welcome. I'm, I am excited for all of these things that you're doing. That's yeah. so cool. I mean, I imagine you're excited too. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed our chat and be sure to go to MosqueraCelticBand.com to stay up to date on their concerts, their CD releases, and everything. You can also listen to little bits of their music. And that is all for the first quick cultural combo. But if you want to hear more, then be sure to sign up for the private podcast so that you can hear my chat with Fernando over in the after show. And remember, if you're looking to improve your English speaking skills, be sure to check out my voice message speaking practice. It's a great way to build your confidence through real conversations, just like the one that I had with Fernando. Until the next quick cultural combo. Keep creating those connections through conversation.